Hello guys, we are back. The Combustion Gamer, I am Bear, and that is me, the Combustion Gamer. You can also see my wonderful name down there by the profile, Bear, SRT Gamer. So, uh, yeah, that's me. So anyways, guys, we are here, and we are going to be doing some paint schemes. So, custom paint schemes are up next. Let's get to work. <laughs> Alrighty guys, welcome back. So today on Custom Schemes, uh, once again, a beautiful look at my nationwide car. It's going to be changing though, because we are going to be doing the number, the number four Kodak film car paint scheme here. That was a Monte Carlo. I forget the exact year here. I think it's 94. But anyways, this is a die cast that I have, and so I'm doing all of the work from the die cast that I have. That's what I'm doing. So I'm doing the paint schemes by die cast, and uh, also too, I'm looking up uh, photos and other stuff online to do some really cool die cast. But anyways, today that number four Kodak film Monte Carlo. So first off, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go straight to the number. We're gonna take it all the way back to number four number four here and honestly that is the closest for it. the only problem is it's so thin that is really close but see yeah it, unfortunately they don't have the style so we're gonna have to go with that right there and so the number four there is red so we got we got the colors already so now I need to find a paint well actually what we'll do is we'll just get the base paint colors here ready to go so what we're needing here is almost orange, but not quite orange. Almost that color, really. But we need a bit of an in-between between yellow and orange. So we're going to go to, uh, let's see. I've heard the name of what this section is, but I, for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. But I know it works out good. That is really close. That color right there, really close. Here, let's go to the yellow. Yeah. That is the color, almost. Um, it is very close. Very, very close. It might be a tad off. Might be a little bit too light. We're going to go with that because that is so close. That is just so, so close to the color. Okay, guys, so now we need the paint scheme we're gonna start working with the paint scheme now so what we're looking for is there is no lines at the bottom there there's nothing on the top so this is kind of a tricky scheme we're gonna try and get as close as we can this is gonna be tricky though with the schemes that's ooh okay hello that looks interesting looks like a possible candidate uh, that won't work None of that will work. I don't. Th well, uh, nope. None of that will work with this scheme. Let's see. We're gonna go back, back. Um. Alrighty. What we're gonna do? What, what is that? Okay, that's that one. Alrighty. What we're gonna do? So we're gonna take this to black. Man, that is tricky. That is tricky, man. Nothing. Oh, I hate when I do that. I keep backing out of this. Um, let's see. This is a tricky scheme to do because there's only a little bit, and it's back there on the back. Let's see. Hmm. Tricky. Very tricky. I'm almost tempted to go with that because that's so close. But there's nothing there in the middle. Is uh, what we're running into. Wow. Okay, what we're going to do then, is we're going to take it to that. Because, unfortunately, that's the closest we can get. We'll see what we can uh, make up with the overall uh, 
I keep doing that. Um, overall sponsors to see if we can get any closer, but unfortunately that's about as close as I'm going to get uh, paint scheme wise. So let's see about sponsors here. So you got that big giant red Kodak and then a little black text on the bottom. So we got to get as close to that as possible here. So let's see. Oh yeah, I got that. That's nice. Hello. Very nice. Um, let's see here. There, man, that is that is close because it's got the red and the black, but it's uh, yeah, it's in the right place. Okay, we will go with that. Loom, loom, loom. I, I don't know how you pronounce that. Lumar, I guess. Lumar, I guess. I, I'm guessing at that one. Um, then we go to the side. Uh, we're gonna go with um, Hertz, I think. I'm gonna look around here just to make sure. But I think we'll go with Hertz down there just to give you that black. Oh, we might go with something else. Let's see. Uh, that's not quite right. But we need that black. Um, a, pretty much a large black is what we're needing. Really a big black thing down here. That's. Ooh, hello. Um, we're gonna go with that. Then also we need to find find that Lumar, Lulu. There we go. Very nice. Alrighty. Then the back. There's no paint scheme there on the deck lid, so we will leave that as nothing. Then obviously in the back. Not quite how it's supposed to look, but it'll work. We'll put our main sponsor on there once again. Hello, that's kind of interesting. Um, there we go. Alright, so that's one take on it. Let me do... I saw something interesting here. Let me take another quick whack. Yeah, that that's close. Well, yeah. I actually say, yeah, we'll go with that. Here we go. There we go, guys. Now we got. Now we got what we're supposed to have. The big giant red text with some black there on the bottom. The black doesn't pop out very well because it's a very. The it's got a lot of white edging, but that is more of what it should look like. Giant red and a little bit of black. So, all right, there we go, guys. That is as close as I'm gonna get paint scheme availability wise on this car um, but yeah there so there we go my take on the number four Kodak film car and that is yeah that's as close as it's gonna get so there you go guys very nice looking car what am I definitely a cool scheme don't have very many of those just those bright yellow flash schemes anymore so anyways there we go guys we got that one so cool very good thank you for watching got more schemes coming up thanks for watching see you next time